Now you may be wondering, what is this thing? Today, we're going to be trying to taste some of this blue Haitian organic coffee. See you probably tomorrow or maybe in a couple of days and we'll actually taste the coffee. Um, I know last time I said I was going to go ahead and try out that uh, uh, Haitian blue organic, but uh, yeah, let's go do it right now. I guess if we don't have some, um, I'll just go over some up and then we'll go drink some tomorrow morning. <laughs> Hey, so now that it's uh, the next morning, um, let's actually go take this and drink it up. All right. So, I mean, I guess like the good thing about like sort of stalling the review of the actual coffee was not such a bad thing. Um, kind of gave me a little bit more time to sort of explore like the, the coffee, different roast profiles. I've tried it like really light, really dark, or even like medium, like the one that you saw in the roast video. Um, I would say that this coffee, it's all right. <laughs> um, the most that I can say is, uh, I think it works really well as an espresso and darkly roasted, which is kind of sad to say. Um, usually coffees I prefer are more like more fruity and more acidic. This is a little bit more of like a chocolatey, heavy, like low acidity and sort of like a, a more full-bodied uh, coffee. And, but it does have like that buttery mouthfeel that they describe. So I think for those who really like classic coffees, would pretty much like this kind of coffee. So I guess we can go ahead and grind this up and let's go make an espresso. Oh. All right, so uh, while our water is boiling, um, I'm gonna go talk about espresso a little bit. Now, you may be wondering, what is this thing? Well, let me tell you. Uh, it's a lever espresso. It's a pretty interesting device. Pretty much, this is a, for lack of better words, it's just an espresso machine for the most simplest parts. So basically, in espresso, what you do is, you have a filter basket. Now, it's called a port filter. You pretty much put it in this. You have a shower screen. So this is pretty interesting. It just helps evenly distribute like the water while you're pushing it down through the tube. Put that over the port filter. It's nicely sealed with a gasket so no water leaks. Kind of turn it tight. All you do is basically you pour water through the top, it fills up the chamber, and then you push all the espresso out. So, I've kind of had some time playing with it. Uh, it's still pretty hard since um, hand grinders don't give the most consistent grind, so, and also with like newly roasted coffee, it's kind of hard to judge like the first few days since like, the gas is still like degassing. Sometimes it's harder to um, to get the water through the beans, or even like they they might be oily one day. There might not be. 
um, depending on the, the roast level too. So a lot of factors come into making espresso. And this is pretty cool. I actually had this uh, device like a long time before, but the thing is um, I wasn't able to get my hands on a non-pressurized portafilter. Since uh, the ones I had for the longest of time, here I can show you. Um, this is a dual wall port filter. I'm not sure if you can actually see it, but there's a really small hole and then there's a lot of big holes on top. But this one, it's just one layer and there's like semi holes or several holes. So basically in a dual walled filter, um, it's literally dual walled where more water can go through the top. You don't have to grind as finely and it forces all of that pressure through this tiny little hole here. Now that adds more pressure to where um, you couldn't get so otherwise with um, not as finely ground coffee. So sort of like just filter coffee grind level and you can get a pretty decent espresso out of it. But here what we're looking for is the true espresso here. So it's still kind of hard for me, especially getting like the grind size right. I get tired and sort of annoyed when you uh, don't dial in your espresso grind correctly, especially on a hand grinder because of how long it takes. But uh, water's done, let's go ahead and make some espresso. Oh, where's my tamper? Dog! Oh, it was here. Okay, so kind of like one of the first few things like learning out how to do espresso. Um, Make sure you want to get a tamper. So basically, when you tamp espresso, you want to get it really evenly tamped. I'm not sure if that really shows well on camera since like you're kind of far away. Um, but generally, you want to get the grounds pretty evenly distributed within the, the filter basket. You want to make sure you have pretty even pressure um, though I'm tamping a lot, it's it sort of like makes it a little bit uneven since I don't have a tamper that can tamp the whole um, diameter of the portafilter. But this is the best that I can do, and we'll see what the results. Um, yeah. Oh. Yeah. See, it's all packed in there. I like to use the stand to like sort of tighten it up. All right, let's go like reboil the water real quick and then let's go start pressing. Now, uh, there's no real amount of water that I kind of go for. Uh, this doesn't really um, have too much accuracy into it, which is one of the sadder things about this machine. Though you can pour water over a uh, scale and measure how much water you're pouring directly, but generally um, what they like to recommend is like you top it off and then you press. So sort of like 20 or even 18 grams generally yields around like 40 to 50 grams like throughout this. So right now it's sort of like pre-infusing. What I like to do is I like to give a little bit more pre-infusion. So this kind of gets the water more evenly distributed but at a lower pressure. Okay, some espresso is falling through. And then now we press. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Actually, not bad. Generally, it's, it's pretty hard to do naked extractions, especially when you're not able to have like a really um, even grind that it doesn't really coalesce in the center. So right now, I'm actually really happy. Though you saw it was kind of a little messy in the beginning, but you can see that some crema in there too. It's pretty nice. Yeah, look at that. Not too bad, gotta say. 
Uh, today, one of the more impressive drinks that we're going to be making in uh, these series, we're going to be making Americano. Just uh, espresso hot water. Yeah, that's about it. So let's go ahead and taste it. <sighs> All right, let's go ahead and start drinking this coffee. Um, I sort of let it cool down like just a little bit. Um, generally, uh, the flavors of like pretty much anything, um, the more you let it cool down, like the more you get to actually taste the flavors because generally you don't really detect things at like either of the extremes of temperature. So really hot, you don't really taste too much and then really cold, you don't really taste too much. Um, so sort of around that like lukewarm or even like kind of hot is like the best time to drink it, not like boiling water. And you actually taste more of a coffee. Oh. But you know, it is nice though. It's generally, uh, especially like on the other end of the spectrum of coffees, more darker, more full bodied, more low acidity, as I said before. It's actually pretty nice. I would say that um, a lot of the nuttiness and um, that's actually about it. <laughs> um, it it's, it's pretty nutty and pretty chocolatey uh, is what I can say. So if you really like um, nutty, chocolatey, it's not really that fruity, um, you'd probably like this. And it has like a really nice, um, really heavy, like thick, <laughs> you know, uh, texture to it. So it's, it's pretty nice. So I've sort of had like a lot more time to experience um, different ways to prepare this and it does take to espresso very well. Let's say that. I'd say the, the roast that I actually did was sort of more of like a medium darker roast, but you know, medium and um, medium light roast might do okay with espresso too. I tried like really dark roast, like second crack, and I think you really lose out on a lot of flavors. You get more smokiness, more earthy tones out of it, more like even heavier um, taste, but I don't know. I, I kind of prefer like the medium darker roast or medium uh, for this coffee, but it's pretty nice. Um, Generally, I usually like to do filter coffees, but or once in a while, um, I do enjoy my Americanos. Like it really takes well to the more heavier dose. So this is actually a two to one ratio compared to a one to sixteen for a filter coffee. So it's it's pretty nice, even at like the higher ratios of coffee, um, more extraction, uh, just a heavier dose. It's not bad. Um, it's pretty sweet, uh, relatively to uh, coffees, and yeah, that's all I can say. It's a, uh, it's pretty good coffee. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll see you next time. Maybe we'll try new different coffees. Might not be a roast. Maybe even decaf. Maybe wink. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, see you next time. See you later. Hope you have a good day. <laughs>